We're uh, a few hundred yards from where uh, Jimmy Jr., Jimmy Sr. lived. This is the houses of uh, three of their family members just up the street off uh, Buell and Quincy. And you can see this house right here was blown off its foundation. Like if you can just kind of get an idea of the depth here. Um, the house was here as the water came rushing down. Um, like I said, they, the people here only had a few minutes. It was uh, above six foot, above six feet high in uh, about 20 minutes. And this house, I, as best as I can kind of relate it, is like the movie The Wizard of Oz, where, where Dorothy's house gets picked up and spun around because that's exactly what happened. This house right here that was facing, the, the front door was facing, uh, facing the water. It got rushed and it, it got moved and you can see it kind of here behind me completely blown off its completely blown off its foundation and and picked up kind of like a like a like a dollhouse you can see um, the only thing that was stopping this house uh, Jimmy Jr. was telling me the only thing that stopped this house from continuing kind of to push back is these three uh, steel poles of, and a fire hydrant uh, if it wasn't for that this house wouldn't even be this close to where it got blown uh, off the foundation let's see if we come through here you know and it's when you look around here you see that I when you look around you see that you know the storm was obviously you know didn't pick and choose like there's houses here that that look that look like they're intact I'm sure there's there's minor damage but the windows don't even seem to be broken off and and, and houses here that have gotten a, a, a yellow restricted card yellow means that you know there is some there is some minor damage but it's repairable uh, but there are a lot of houses uh, here and in uh, uh, the more waterfront communities that have red red uh, red tags which means that they're condemned that you cannot use them you cannot live there you cannot you cannot re repair it and you can see this house that was right over there uh, this is this is now where it is uh, this is it and of course you know it has uh, unsafe area do not enter the houses you know no foundation so there's nothing that you can do to to try to repair it but I don't think people in this neighborhood really understood what it was going to be I heard from so many people that you know you know we were we were here for Irene you know there was a lot of there was a lot of hype about it we thought it was going to be you know X Y and Z but there was only about six inches I heard so many people say oh Irene was only six inches I didn't I didn't think that this was going to be a big deal and it was really unfortunate is that they completely underestimated this and they had no there was no room for error like I said 20 minutes six feet there's no room for error like you either left and you evacuated or you were really sadly swallowed by this storm um, let me take you around to what we were told is the only reason why this house didn't go kind of further back why why it wasn't blown even further is these uh is these uh these uh this fire hydrant and these two steel poles like this is this is the only thing that kept it you can see the house would have continued on it would have continued out uh into the field lord knows how far how much more devastation it would have caused if it would have hit somebody or something um We'll go, let's go inside the house, kind of give you an idea of what people, oh, careful, there's a lot of, uh, um, you can see the doors, screen door is off the hinges, you know, the nails are exposed, uh, and I, I, don't, I don't know what to say, this, this looks like somebody submerged the house underwater and just slowly pulled it back up. Every single thing, you can see the sheets are muddied. This, this, there, in houses that weren't blown off the foundation, these are things that are not salvageable. Every single thing is ruined. You know, there's personal family effects, you know, p pictures that are, that, are, that are soaked. And if they weren't maybe closed in a container, they didn't even have a chance, you know. <sighs> Dressers soaked full of stuff. You know, and the, as we get into the houses, you can really start to smell, uh, you know, the, the, the mildew and the, and the mold that's, that's probably starting to grow. Um, it, it can be it can be overwhelming because everything people this is three weeks out now so everything they have has been soaked not only by water but by salt water uh, the wood is kind of starting to come up um, this room in particular this room if you if you want to come around here you can you can see this is the water level like this to give you a little perspective like this this is what two feet above me and and they're saying water was coming in about 40 to 50 miles an hour or so you're getting flooded hard and you're getting flooded fast I mean look 
we'll, we'll take you around this way. I think you can see it better. Um, and now I'm, I'm standing on something. I'm standing on what looks like a dresser. But this, it was filled up to here. You see it here again. Water levels up to here. I mean, this family was lucky they had an attic, but you know, with water coming this high in about 20 minutes, I don't, that doesn't even give you any, any, any sense of safety because, you know, for some people, if their first, second level are, are being filled up, you know, who, who's to say this attic wouldn't be filled up in about 20 minutes? And I don't think the people um, of this particular community really understood uh, the gravity of what was coming. I think they, they, they underestimated it. I think they thought it was going to be like Irene. It was going to be like storms they've had in their past and that a lot of people thought, you know, I've been here. 30, 40, 50 years. We met a guy who's been here 55 years and he said he never saw anything like this. He said he was walking out of his house and um, as he was leaving, he heard a neighbor call out, please help me, please help me. My mom, my mom is in the house and she's, you know, she's older and I can't get her out. Can you help me? And he said he turned his truck around. He had one of those, those monster trucks where the tires are about to like my mid level. And he said he turned his truck around to, to, to go to, past her block to go get her and her, to go get her mother because she had already, she lived somewhere else and and he said he couldn't. He said his tires were already spinning and, and the water was almost as high as his tires. He just had enough time to kind of drive off. He said he came back the next day, uh, the next day and talked to uh, his neighbor and she told him that her mother, her mother didn't make it. She drowned in her house. And as is the story of, of so many people who did not think this was going to be as bad, as bad as it was. G2 Abraham, Staten Island, New York.